shit. What up, guys? We're out of here, back with another video. Oh, look at look at John's Type R, yo. Let's go take a look at it. Jeez. Oh. <laughs> hey. Looks fire. It's damn remote. I think the battery's getting low on the remote. I have to be this close to even unlock the car. So I think that's gonna be one of the things I gotta switch out. So Friday night, everybody's out. So we're gonna go enjoy the night. And uh oof. So me and John are gonna go over to Oakville chat time. We're gonna go meet up with our buddy uh Victor. He has the uh black R34 GTR V Spec 1. Oh, music. Yeah, he's done some things to the car, so I'm gonna go over there and check it out. I know he refinished his wheels, um, he refinished the valve cover on his car, so we're gonna check it out, see what he's done over the winter, and uh, go from there. Maybe we'll do a little quick shoot and uh, see how the night goes. So stay tuned. Look at the color of the sky tonight. Beautiful. Like, if I had another car to do rollers right now, where the shots would look fire but we just riding solo right now john's in his type r we got a mustang flying by <laughs> just cruising i'm the type to just cruise you know like i don't need to go fast um, i mean it's always fun to go fast but with gas prices today and with the the risk of cops catching you you know you don't want to sacrifice not being able to drive your car at all or getting your license suspended but overall it's a good time just to cruise and enjoy the the views and the scenery you know like like for example like this sunrise uh, not sunrise uh, but enjoy this like sunset as you can see here beautiful colors and uh would make for crazy shots but we'll get it another time all right so we got here to chat time oakville Look at Victor's R34. Hey! Look at the magnesium. Big an LMGT4 here. He got refinished. Uh, he pretty much did the valve cover on his hood. Um, he pretty much paint matched the color to his rims. So as you can see here. Damn. Damn. Look at the valve cover. Hey! Let me turn on the light for a second. Same white. Can't see. So the engine cover was the regular. As RP, you guys can like see the, right there, red. paint yeah, yeah. matched valve cover. Match anything around my car. Damn. Yeah. So took off the whole valve covers. And you did all of, like the seals and stuff inside yep, the valve cover. Yeah. Seals. Yeah. Two hundred dollars later for rubber seals. So Jeez. That looks and crazy. Then, uh, the titanium strut bar. Oh yeah, I forgot you got that in. Holy fuck, yo, look at that. Look yeah, at the, the build quality on that. Yo, look holy at the holy guy. That looks crazy. <laughs> yeah. It's probably like doesn't weigh like nothing. Then. I just need to do a strut bar. Everything else is oh, extra. Man. <laughs> Mine's titanium strut bar and looks crazy. All the Nismo goodie in here. Fuck, feels like you had the whole catalog, man. Shee. No, I'm doing the trend though. Carbon fiber. <laughs> I got the fiber. I saw that video. I was like, I had to send it to you. I'm like, yo. Fiber everywhere. <laughs> Man, it's awesome. Looks freaking crazy. Leave it in the comment box. What do you guys think of Victor's car? Obviously, you guys are gonna love it. But fucking, man, I want to hear your feedback. You know? Look at this lineup, though. This lineup looks so hard right now. Looks like we in uh, Japan. <laughs> Jeez. I just love the body line of the R34, man. It's just toge ready, yo, this thing. It just, it just looks so freaking like ready to hit the mountains, yo, I swear. <laughs> this car is fucking nuts right now. You open the door. I will just take some shots of the exterior. All right, guys, so I didn't get a chance to film more uh shots of the r34 just because we were just chilling out um just wanted to take the time and just you know catch up with victor talk about like things and plans for the summer but besides that i did take some photos of victor's car and my car uh, right before we left uh chat time and uh so i'll post it up right here 
Today, I am headed to Iqbal's house because he got new front caliper for his S2000. And uh, we're gonna go check him out. Uh, I'm gonna give him a hand installing it. We're gonna bleed the brakes. Maybe go for a drive, see how the calipers uh, feel. And um, make sure that the lines are all bled properly. Um, and just go from there. So, stay tuned. Damn, look at that. Brand new in box, eh? He didn't put it on, eh, the guy? He didn't want to put it on yet. Was the guy partying on his car something? Uh, no. He just bought the mule. But his wheels didn't clear it, so it's one. Oh, seriously? Holy guy. Damn. <laughs> it looks hard, yo. So we're gonna go buy that, uh... Torx. Yeah. yeah. And the line works perfectly for it? Yeah. Same line that was on him when they had it before. Yeah, it? Where's the line going, Matt? Look, I'm pretty sure it was in the second. Wait, no, it'll go right here. Huh? It would go in here. Cause that's a bleeder model. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, right there. Maybe. Then that will provide the fluid for the pistons on the sides. You have to unscrew this to put the pads in. Yeah, easy. Slide them in. Fucking bolt them back. Lubricate these sliders. With what? Do you use like too. copper slip or? Okay, let's go to paint tire. Yeah. I should probably just bring this with me so I know what size I need, right? Well, they, I think they sell as a set. But yeah. if you want to bring the caliber, bring the caliber. No, just that one piece. This one screw. Oh, you took it off? You loosened it or not? I just, it? I literally just put it in there. Was it already like hand tightened? No, I, I put it in. I cut it out of that. I was just looking at that, trying to get it together. Yeah. So we just throw it in and just bleed the brakes. Oh, the, the hardware wasn't even there yet. No, it was all in the bag. Oh, all in the bag. Okay, okay. So I think an endless full brake kit setup on the Z is like, I would say like fucking almost eight grand, eight, nine grand. Hopefully, hopefully it's under, you know, but we'll see, we'll see how it goes. Just gotta sort it out with a couple of local shops and uh, see what's the best pricing we can get for the endless uh, big brake kit upgrade on the Z. And then uh, if I like the price, just put down a deposit and go from there. So definitely the Z is gonna get some big brake soon. Jeez, it needs it. Uh, there she is, such a beautiful day. Friggin' car looking clean. Cars are inflated like crazy nowadays. Sure, you guys all know that me and Iqbal were just discussing about like what would you do with your car would you keep it and obviously for myself I would keep the Z just because it has a lot of sentimental values to me and um, Iqbal said the same Iqbal's you know gold car is the NSX but with today's market like <sighs> who's gonna pay 200 grand for an NSX you know what I mean if I'm gonna pay 200 grand for a car it was gonna be a Lamborghini or a Ferrari or something you know what I mean but um, not yeah, a 90s Honda. but not a 90s Honda at least. But you gotta be like true, you know, that's like your all time favorite car type of fan, you know, what I mean? on, on that car. So, like, to even spend that kind of money if you really like were in a situation where you financially had gains to do that, you know what I mean? For me, I, I mean, I love the Nismo GTR, and that's like. That's like 100% I would love to buy that, but to have an opportunity to own like a fucking Porsche GT3 RS or like a Ferrari 458 or something like that, you know what I mean? That's super like, just exotic looking. It's just, just, that would be awesome too, but yeah, man, we will see, you know, how the car scene goes, but I think from here on, it's just gonna keep going up. Fuck, <laughs> it ain't gonna go down at all. <laughs> yeah, if you have one of those like, you know, 2000, like 90s, 2000 era, like JDM cars right now, I say hold on to it because it's only gonna go up in value and uh, you got yourself an investment right now. So we'll see how the, the, the future goes with the market and base our decision off that uh, later on in life. <laughs> how come you didn't drive the RA today? Uh, why didn't I drive the R8 today? <laughs> the nice day. I think I had a lot of like crap stuff in the Lexus. Oh, and I need to go to my parents' house. Ah, okay, and, yeah, okay. and I drove the R8 yesterday. <laughs> That's okay. But I actually have to take it to Toronto when I go to Writer's Group. Yeah. Roddy, can you pass that track? Shabble so sometimes that. you need a, a little break from the yeah, cars, yeah. you know? For now, we're moving the brake line from the old calipers. But usually with older hardware, a lot difficult to remove the bolt and stuff like that so we're trying to use a lot of leverage to try to make it easier for easier for us to crack the bolt yeah, it's tight. we can put a screwdriver in the where the bolt goes okay. hold it and then just... see if we can loosen it with some wd-40 just a little bit you don't want to Tap this one. 
Did it? No, top this one. Top the ratchet? Yeah. This moment has got to be a quick one. It's going to go the same direction. So one goes here. Yep. Fuck, come on. Shit's crooked. Yeah, you want to do it by hand all the way. Found their snug, it's all flush. Sitting flush. Is it leaking out? You What's might. The it's between the wall, right? No, I just want to see the position on the. It seems good. The position on the line where it sits with yeah. the flare. With the bunch. Like. So, see, like this? Yeah. See, it has that groove, right? So, the caliper was like this. Shit. Like this, right? Yeah. So, you don't want your line interfering when you're turning or anything like that. You want it to have enough room, yeah. like slack. That's one side at least. Woo. On to the next side. So this is how it feels to drive an SC thousand, eh? <laughs> this is the cockpit view. It's nice, especially paired with the Mugen wheel. Looks crazy. Right now we're about to uh, pump the brakes to bleed it. Uh, we've got both both of the brake lines on on both sides. What? <laughs> You gotta tell me when to pump. Hold on, I'm gonna pump them. Hold on. Let me see. Damn, look at this. Hey, what do you guys think of the view of like sitting inside the driver's seat of the S2000? I think it looks great. You know, it looks so tracky. Love the push to start engine here, even though, you know, you still have a turnkey ignition, but it's cool. Cool, I love it. The brake pedals feel, they feel really nice. Feels nice and stiff. I think we're going to bleed it a couple more times uh, on the other side. Just for like conscious awareness. And uh, But right now the brake pedal feels good. It feels nice and stiff. All we got to do is uh, see how Iqbal feels it out when he drives it for a drive. And there. So the ultimate thing is wheel fitment. Will it clear? Will it clear? It's going to probably clear so we're not doubting it. But it's always good to double check, you know what I mean? Because... You do all this work and then you put the wheel on and fucking bloop hits the caliper. That's not a fun thing. Oh fuck. Close. No, it's supposed to be close. Close. Is that close? Yeah. No, it's hitting, man. It's hitting? You sure? It's hitting. No, you you'd be surprised how tight. Look at that tight though? Yeah, no, it's not going anywhere. Because Herman is pretty tight too. Nothing is going anywhere. The caliper is bolted down, the wheel is bolted down. It's new. <laughs> Bro, you're good. If that paper slides through. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hold on, hold on. Oh, yeah, you're clear. Yeah, for sure. That's definitely clear. You still That's can... fucking close, though. That's tight, yo. That's how you know you're good, bro. I read online, it should clear it. <laughs> well, what was your offset originally? It has to be in the 30s. Yeah, I think it's 38. For my setup, anything plus 35 will clear it. Oh yeah, it's clear, look at that. Yeah, you would hear it, bro. You it's not even rubbing. Not even rubbing. Yeah. It wouldn't spin that freely, but yeah. rubbing. And so, then you we are damaged, good. You would have damaged the coating in right? We are good. <laughs> yeah, let's test it. Anyway. <laughs> what a record. <laughs> Ooh, car is on the ground. Man. Look at that, eh? Damn, looks fresh. It's on. It's tight. It's cleaned up. All clear. Feeling different? Ah, I never really died. Yeah, I almost broke his neck pressing the brakes. <laughs> looks way better though, eh? Oh yeah, it looks nice, yeah. There is. Well, I got so lucky. You're gonna need to, to, to get that. What? Just like that, the spoon brakes are finally on. Iqbal just has to go out for a good drive and wear in the brake pads and everything. So you can actually feel how how good the four pistons uh, caliber feel, you know? So but I'm gonna wrap up this video here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely consider subscribing and giving this video a like if you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.